why do I have this feeling of I've been here before? My first K-pop song ever was Shiny, Ring Ding Dong. We respect that you like it and yeah. like, it sounds really cool, but we're, we're not into it. So with Shiny, I was like, I don't really get it. But I remember when I heard EXO, I don't... Just a... <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> My first time, I will send the link of this video to my friends. Shout out to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hello. Who Hi. are you? What's your name? Hi, everyone. I'm Paula. Nice to meet you all. Where are you from? I'm from Spain, Barcelona. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Very first time that you ever heard, saw anything career related. What was the very first time? My first time, I will send the link of this video to my friends. Shout out to my friends. <laughs> Shout out to my friends. When I was, I think it was when I was 15, 16, um, one of my group of friends, we were like a group of five friends, and one of them was like, hey guys, I found something like really cool. It's like Korean music and like they have those amazing, super cool groups and like all of them have a different team and like they just like dance together and they're super synchronized and like you guys should check it out. And, and they have cool hair colors. Yes. And I was like, Okay, everybody was like, we don't know what she's talking about, but okay, let's give it a chance. And I remember she brought the laptop and she was like, okay, I'm gonna play you one song and you guys tell me what it is. Like, how do you feel yeah. about it? My first K-pop song ever was Shiny, Ring Ding Dong. Just a <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I think that was the best reading. But you guys like, can you imagine like my first contact ever with K-pop and with Korean culture was Rin Ding Dong by Shiny, okay? It's not like the best way to, to introduce a culture to someone. And I just remember me and my other four friends, we were like, this is a lot to take. It is a lot. It's, it's a, a lot, lot to take. It was like a really big culture of Shago. We're like, why are they like, why are five guys dancing like that in front of a camera with a really weird music that we never heard about. Mm. With blonde, I remember Shiny with blonde hairs. I don't know if Rin Ding Dong video was with blonde hairs, but I remember them like that, like all blonde and with really crazy mm. hairstyles. Like one of them was wearing like, you couldn't even see his face properly, but anyways, yeah. She's like, here you go. Here's the moment of truth. Yeah. Press us play. And you're yeah. like, interesting. We were, we were just like, I think this is enough for today. <laughs> she just wanted to really get us to get interested into that. And I remember me and my friends were like, nope. nah, this is not our thing. Like, mm. we respect that you like it and yeah. like, it sounds really cool, but we're, we're not into it. But now you live in Korea, so something must have happened. It happened. Between <laughs> then and now. What happened? EXO happened. EXO happened. <laughs> oh, you told me your friend so you saw the very first music video, you thought, I don't know how I feel. But then fast forward and your friend said, wait, 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 I have a different group. What group was that? EXO. Ah, EXO. And they were debuting at the time? Yes, I think they recently debuted because it was like their first album ever. They were still like one big group with two different groups, like the Korean one ah, and the okay. Chinese one. And okay. then like were, they were promoting in both countries with different languages like at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they had like a really like concept of like a planet and they were like, I don't know, I, I don't remember. It was like, how long has it been? Like 10 years? <laughs> That's okay. So I'm curious to know <laughs> why this time, why was that group different? I don't know. I guess shiny music back then was not my style that much. Mm. Not as a thing to get into K-pop in the beginning. So with shiny, it was like, I don't really get it, but I remember when I heard EXO, I don't... It might have been maybe not in the debut era, but a little bit later. Because I remember the role was already out, like Odudong, 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 somebody... Odudong, the, yes, the yes, song, Odudong. Uh, that was so big! <laughs> I, I think I know that song, actually, now that you say it. It was really big, I remember it was really big, it was playing like everywhere and it got like huge but in spain back then nobody knew about mm. korea and what k-pop was and like nothing like nothing at all we just 
knew that Korea existed as a country mm. somewhere, but like we didn't get any interest. But that so, song, that song was more intriguing to you. Maybe. Yes, okay. I got really into that song back then. And I remember because I told you we're a group of five, right? Mm -hmm. So this this one friend who's really into shiny and then like the rest of us were like, wait, what? Then I got into EXO, so there's two of us who are like, hey guys, you should like so we were so pushy, everybody like started like liking different groups and then we, we gathered together. It's like together. a domino. One person, yes. one person. <laughs> Literally. And then, everybody's now liking K-pop. <laughs> so that led you to coming to Korea on a trip. Basically, if I never heard about K-pop back then, I don't think I would be as interested as I am in Korea right now. Because mm -hmm. it just developed, because I also got older. Like back then I was a teenager, so I was like, mm. not only with K-pop, but I was like a fan of groups. Like yeah. when you're in high school, it's common to have like a something that you want to be a fan of. I love Justin Bieber. I'm Me clearly too, an American. <laughs> I'm clearly an American. Love Justin Bieber. <laughs> Me too, so. I had the Justin Bieber phase. Yes. But after that was gone, like I didn't have anything for a while up until mm. I met like what K-pop was, yeah. and I got to know K-pop. Well, you went to Korea the first time. Yes. You said, I think you said that you were in school. I was, I just finished high school back then, yeah. Mm. So tell me more about the first time you ever came to Korea, when that was and what your experience was like. It was during summer, like late summer. I came here like the worst time that you can come to Korea because it was <laughs> so hot, it was like, mid-August, no. beginning of September. It was, I just remember like, why am I here now? <laughs> like, it, just it was drenched just in so sweat. hot. Because <laughs> in Spain, like it's actually, it's hot in Spain too. Like I'm from Barcelona, Barcelona is really hot. But we have this hot that you can handle. Like you're not <laughs> sweating 24 <laughs> seven. You don't feel like you want to shower all the time. But in Korea, yeah. it was like, I just arrived in here, like humidity heated on me. Like, it was like, why is this country so humid? Everything is you're wet. Swimming. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you're just swimming. <laughs> swimming in hot. <laughs> but you were here. Did you yes. enjoy your trip? What was your first trip like that you can remember? It was my first time in Asia. It was my first big trip ever. Like before that, I never flew so many hours to go somewhere. And I remember I just landed and I was like, why do I have this feeling of I've been here before? Like I had this home kind of mm, feeling like yeah. me going to somewhere that I've already been into mm. which was really weird for me because I'm like it's my first time in here it's like such a different country where do I have this feeling of so welcome I like literally just landed mm. and I remember I have this feeling every time I come to Korea mm, like and it only home. happens in Korea mm. it can be like any other country like even European European ones that are like pretty similar between them mm. and I never have this feeling but every time I come to Korea from like some other country I just feel like okay, I'm back home, like, I feel okay. I'm mm. like, I know this place, like, I know what's popping. But literally that time I was 18 and it was my first time in Korea and that feeling hit me and I was like, what is this? Like, I don't know if you guys have I've had feeling. the same feeling, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And then and after then, landing is when all the culture shock came. <laughs> mm. What was like the biggest culture shock that you experienced? First of all, was like, 